Muddy tire tracks, toppled grave markers, and headstones ripped straight out of the ground. That's the scene at a cemetery in Fayette County. Megan Schiller reports the community wants someone to pay for the vandalism. The people who regularly visit the cemetery say they first noticed the donut tracks. They're all across the entire length of this hillside. But then they noticed that. And now they're working with state police to catch whoever did this. The rain pours down on Union Cemetery Thursday, but all eyes turn to this. This is terrible. It, it hurts you in your heart, for God's sake. For someone to do something like this, I, why would you even pick on a cemetery, for God's sake? A criminal targeted the dead, crashing into headstones and ripping apart burial plots. The damage here, these people were buried here. Their families are going to have to see this someday. What are we going to do about this? You know, these family members are going to be hurt over this, definitely. Lance Winterhalter invited our cameras out to Union Cemetery in Dickerson Run and thinks the vandal struck early this week. I think the person came up on the side road, come over. He did some donuts up at the top. He came down, he at least knocked at least eight or ten stones down on the ground. Neighbors Harry Gray Jr. and Jack Washabaugh live just up the hill. They say a few neighbors' cameras all captured a black truck passing through, but state police continue to investigate. You know, you, your family's at rest here, you know, this is it. So yeah. Then they come in there, these young people come up here drinking and smoking dope and everything, and this is what you get. It's a, a lack of respect, and that's what we have in our nation today is lack of respect. They're hoping cash will help them find who did this and bring the vandal to justice. The cemetery board is putting out a $500 reward for the arrest and conviction of the person who did this. Okay. And this damage disturbed people who have been resting since 1928, down to this gentleman who died in mid-August and doesn't even have a headstone yet. Now the cemetery board says if you're a family member of one of these people buried here, they want to talk to you. Reporting in Fayette County tonight, Megan Schiller, KDKA News.